Welcome back to the Western Wilds on Farming Simulator 22 for episode 30 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am just finishing off ploughing what was the cornfield. It has been prepped and needed ploughing because it had corn in it. Plot 14, just ahead of us, I have mowed, I have cleared the grass off and the grass is all over in the silo. It is in production. What I'm going to do now is open up the north segment of this that we bought in the previous episode and then we're going to move over to the mega field. Uh, it had been pouring down with rain. Was that last? That was before corn, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, pruning I'm going to do once I've got this done because I'm waiting to hopefully have enough liquid fertiliser to put into our sprayer as well. So we'll prune and spray over on the grapevines. What I want to try and do though is get a nice angle on this. Uh, I wanted to switch over to create fields. I don't think that's not a good angle. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit too close on this end I think. Let's try and get a little bit. Terrible. Not to worry. We'll swing around and straighten up and give myself a bit of a gap here and then we'll head straight up. I'll open it up. What I have found using this John Deere, it's fine when I'm ploughing and it will go beyond the nine miles an hour if you use the drawbar uh, that uh, Mr. Daddy Gaz mentioned and said about using. I gave that a go and it does work. No problem at all. I want to leave myself a gap here just so we don't overlap when we're doing harvesting and things like that. I generally try to do that. If we don't, I'm going a little bit. I'm just trying to keep it as straight as possible. So yeah, you can go faster and you can hire a worker for it to go faster as well. However, what I found, and I don't know if it's just this combination between this plough and this particular tractor, that when I hired the worker, he would do a strip fairly quickly then it would turn around and it would almost jackknife. It would sort itself out, it would try to realign, and then it would stop. So I'd have to keep going back, dismiss the worker, then I'd try to do it. But it wouldn't run. I couldn't get the plough to fold, I couldn't get the plough to raise and lower, and it kept on saying, um, so was it uh, not available while plough is turned? So you know when you get the ploughs, you can turn them, and then turn them back, and you can only fold them in a particular way, for some reason, every time the worker tried to do a turn at the end, it tripped it out into thinking that for some reason this plough had turned over. And I had to reset it, come back out. I thought, okay, maybe it was just something that happened once, you know. Uh, so I reset it, did it again, and it did it first trip down, did the turn, did exactly the same thing. So unfortunately, hiring a worker, which I can't do when I'm creating a field anyway, I've got to do that myself, but yeah, when you're hiring a worker, that's a bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. Let's go over a little bit again. Just a fraction. There we go. Straighten up. Yeah, so my decision now, a lot of people have messaged and said, if I'm going to do a six pack, I'm going to do the, I think I mentioned in the last episode, why not do eight? <laughs> and I'm really, ooh, I'm really toying with it, you know. What I might do, we'll start the ploughing, I'll plough out the edges, because I cut all that grass over there on those six plots, and that all went into storage as well, and that's all been being, been processed, being processed. And it took quite a while, so what I'll do is I'll plough around the outside edge of the six fields, and then kind of, I mean it's, it's big isn't it, it's big, but then someone said if you can go big, why just not go full, full tilt sort of thing. So you know what, I might. I think I'm going to put corn back in this. I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I think I'm going to do corn on corn. And what I was saying about harvesting my corn and the different ideas and drying corn and stuff like that. Well, as luck would have it, what came out? Literally, was it the day that I did the last episode or the day after? The ethanol plant. We can do ethanol. And I've got a massive field of soybean, which means we can do diesel production. We can have the byproducts too. So if we wanted to, we can do more pig food um, with those as well. We've got a few options. It's looking pretty good. So yeah, that's where I'm at. 
it's been a bit hectic the last few days, I'm not going to lie. What with um, La Coronea 22 coming out, the map tour of that was, the prep was bonkers. Um, the map itself is phenomenal, but wow, what a lot of stuff on there. I did the map tour on the pro version. If you haven't seen it, um, we'll go and have a look. It, a lot of the stuff that was, I think, um, you know, Shab was trying to do on the FS19 version, They've managed to pull off on this version, absolutely. It, it just, it works perfectly. Um, I say it works perfectly, it did on all the, the, the testing and the map tour stuff I did. And someone asked me, um, when I keep mentioning when I'm doing my map tours and when I'm doing mod reviews about my notes, I'm looking down at my notes and someone said, oh, uh, what do the notes look like for doing the map tour? Um, so I posted them, did I put them on Facebook? I think I put them on Facebook. <laughs> just so, I know people are often interested and they ask me, you know, um, I was asked a while back when I make my notes for stuff. I just I just generally jot stuff down as I'm going along. I have a set list of things I do when I'm doing a mod review and a set list of things I, I write down when I'm doing a, a map tour. And someone said, well, why don't you just type it and then print it out? In all honesty, I make so many crossings out and jottings and changes. And when I'm on the go, I'll change things. I don't know how I managed to go offline here, but I did. That in all honesty, it um, it just makes more sense to do it myself. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I think what I'll probably do is come back and do the insides of these later. I want to get the outsides done. I don't want to spend the whole episode just ploughing. Because um, we've got pruning and stuff to do as well. I am now starting to panic as well. This could be the start of the video. Or there might be a clip before this. Or there might have been a clip before this. Because I thought I'd recorded something prior to this, and I'm now panicking because I think I may have deleted it. Like I said, it's been a few days. So that came out. Then there was on Saturday the Jacto mods came out from the Brazilian manufacturer Jacto. And then the map that went with that as well. Um, so with the map tours, the mod review, this is my first chance of getting back on it. Now, this is being recorded Sunday. Whether it will post Sunday or whether it will post Monday, I'm not sure. But I'm just letting people know. Potentially, Sunday, uh, Monday and Tuesday, there may not be... I'm kind of worked through the weekend and I'm probably going to take Monday, maybe Tuesday as well off. Because the temperature is going to be about 40 degrees where I am, centigrade. And I was having trouble before... Um, I'm just worried about things overheating for a start, the PlayStation and the, uh, and the PC, but also myself. Having the fan on is great, but I can't record with the fan on. We've had that conversation before. With it being 40 degrees, it's going to be a bit bonkers. Monday, I've got to do... I haven't got to, but I'm, I'm helping Mrs. P with something that we've got to do. So I thought I'll work through the weekend, take Monday off, because it's going to be ridiculously hot. And yeah. So all those things combined. Potentially... Um, I mean, weirdly, Giants are away at TwitchCon this weekend, the 15th and... No, 15th, 16th, 17th, I think. And they're still... Because uh, I thought, oh, well, they probably won't release mods or anything while they're at TwitchCon, but then we got stuff on Saturday as well, so they have continued doing so. And then I think next weekend is FarmCon, isn't it? But I think that starts... Is it Thursday? Thursday or Friday? That's not to so say we're not going to get mods later in the week. Um, but if they do drop mods Monday and potentially Tuesday... I'm not sure what will happen about the mod review, whether I'll get onto it or not. But we'll just see. I mean, I've got, I have to gauge it weather-wise and temperature-wise. and How I am, whether I've passed out by that point or not. <laughs> so that's what I think I'll do. So what I'm going to do, do this strip across here now. Then I'm going to head over to where the six-pack is. Where I cut all the grass, mowed all the grass, it should still be in its first grow stage so I should have a good idea I've got my sat nav open to the bottom left to give me an idea of where the um, the plot boundaries are anyway it's just a little visual clue helps me have a quick look down um, so I can do the six pack and then I'll make a decision if I do plow out if I do buy the plots and make it an eight I will I will cut the grass on that as well because every time I get a new plot because it has got grass on it I will, I will mow it, I will collect it, and I'll put it into storage. I'm not going to not gonna turn my nose up on free grass. You know, I've paid for the plot, might as well take the grass off of it. So I'll cut all that, but what I'll do is do the first bit. So, will it be a six-pack or an eight-pack? 
we shall find out. I'm going to leave this open actually, just have it raised. We'll turn off crate fields in case for any reason it drops or something goes horribly wrong. Let's whiz over and start on the mega field. The bottom corner is in line with the corner of where my grass is, so if I head for that corner, I know where I'm at. And um, we can get an idea of the size of the field as we drive across. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to come in a little bit as well from where I mowed because my mowing, I because it did the windrows, it brought it in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a little bit of a boundary again, just to allow for planting and harvesters and that kind of thing. So we come back to about there, there and there. Allow create fields, drop it down, and let's go. So I'll do the uh, strip across, strip across the top, two sides and um, <laughs> then I'll make a decision what I might do is grab the I might grab the um, draw bar for this um, if you put the draw bar between the three point link and the and this you can raise or lower the draw bar independently which makes the plough think it's raised or lowered and then you can go a little bit faster so I might do that and that way I can get the ploughing done in the centre sections of plot 14 and these plots here a little bit quicker. So I really do want to get that pruning done. Bear in mind it's only one o'clock. I've just realised something as well. Hang on. That's better. I hadn't readjusted my time setting. We were on half speed, not normal time, which is what I normally run at. So yeah, I'm just just concerned that we'll run out of uh, run out of time, and I want to get as much done as I possibly can, really. And to be fair, I wouldn't run any kind of fast farming. I wouldn't try and speed up the ploughing process when I'm doing the edges. When I've got allow crate fields on, I'm doing the edges. The last thing I need is to get a speed wobble on and the plough to go off at a funny angle and we end up, yeah. It just becomes an absolute disaster. And that's the last thing we want. So, we've gone across 17, we've gone across 18, we've got 19 to go. You can see... Because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm teetering already, you can tell I'm teetering already, just over to the right there in the distance, I've gathered together a group of equipment. So we have got the mower, I have got the forage harvester with the pickup, so we can pick up the swaths. And I've got the, um, the lorry and the, tra uh, the, and the trailer as well. So everything's there. I haven't, I haven't quite made my mind up yet. I'm thinking what I might be better off doing is maybe plow on the outside of this before I mow all of that and then do the rest of the ploughing, go and do the pruning. That way I know the pruning's done because it's pruning and ploughing or pruning and ploughs. Yeah, pruning and ploughs. And then the spraying of the vines I can do later. That's not a problem, but I definitely wanted to get the pruning done. That's a long drag, isn't it? So the thing is now... I'll do it as if I'm not going to do it. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm going to plough out this section as if I'm not going to do the next two sections over. So I'll still leave myself a gap. And if I change my mind, I can always just plough the gap over. That's not a problem either. So, as you can imagine, <laughs> this is going to take some time. Not the most glamorous of things to be watching. So I will see you in a little while once I've got the outside of this ploughed possibly the inside of plot 14 we'll get the pruning done I'll go and check the silo to see if I've got enough liquid digestate not liquid digest digestate I'm losing using it <laughs> I'm using digestate to produce liquid fertilizer so yeah we'll see if I've got enough liquid fertilizer to put into the sprayer and uh, I'll get that done. So what I'll do is whiz over in a normal tractor to take the equipment over. Then we'll switch over to our little Kubota vine machine. Uh, we're looking fairly straight, I think. Oh, no, we'll just come over just a fraction then. Was that annoying? Yeah, and I'll see you later on. Ploughing is going incredibly well. I've got some fertilising happening at the moment on plot 14. 
obviously that's all got to be limed so now I'm actually quite glad that I have been taking the lime from the various different lime points and storing it rather than just selling it all because I think we're going to need a fair bit of it and in answer to the question that was posed yes I did buy the extra two plots um, <laughs> so hang on a minute how is that how have I not got to fertilize that, but I did that? That was mowed, that was mowed. That was ploughed, that was ploughed. How is that on two fertilizing states? I am a bit baffled. If we click on to needs lime, as you can see, hmm, if we click on to that, I've got them both. So, the cutting of grass will happen. Our mega field has gone from a six pack to an eight pack and it's i mean you think about it <laughs> that one field is the same size as all the fields that i've got the crops in it's bigger actually because that's got a bit of woodland in it that i've got at the moment obviously i've got those ones there and these little bit down here but that's insane Got a bit of work to. I had 1,437 litres of uh, liquid fertiliser. Good to go. So I've put that in. How far that will take us, I'm not too sure. Let's lower that down and we'll get some pruning done. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention was uh, when I did the paper and cardboard and I put the glue silo down, the other thing that I realised was if you go to, uh, was it pallets? Out on the end of big bags. Look, big bag with glue. 2,000 litres. I didn't realise. So you can do bags as well. Or paper paste. Um, yeah, so if you're going to be doing the paper and cardboard, you don't have to have the silos. You can do that. And I think there was some under regular pallets as well. There you go. Big bag with glue. 1,000 litres. So it doesn't have to be. I just thought I'd mention that in case anyone was doing it or wanted to do it. Don't want to have a silo, don't want to have to keep replacing and replenishing. No, I can't remember if this goes in the front or the back. I think it's the front. Oh, well, I've got a weight, so it's got to be on the back, now, hasn't it? If these are designed to do vines, then it's got to be. This is another one of those jobs I've got to do myself, so uh, unfold. Why is that just back over again? Oh, hang on. Hold your horses. Turn that on. That's very close to the tractor. I've got to get right up against it. That can't be right. Surely turn it on. I don't want to fold it. I don't want to honk. Well, maybe it's supposed to be at the front. I can't change the seat angle in this one. I don't know. Let's see how close we need to get. I thought it was supposed to go up and over. Yeah, we're way too close. Although, it is working. Ah, oh, it's actually not so bad. So, pruning, then spraying. Uh, then when the grass has got a little bit longer, we'll mulch again. It does say it needs ploughing. Um, that's not something I've done before. Um, am I supposed to plough? If I plough, won't we just lose the grass in between? Or is that re oh, I don't know. That's not something I've tested. I know that you've got very narrow ploughs, which is... Actually, you know, I better check that. Let's go to... Um, what do I want? Grape technology. Hmm, nothing showing there. What about under ploughs themselves? Hmm, I'm not sure, you know. I'm sure other people will be. Subsoilers? Ah, Discovine. This tool suits perfectly for grape and olive farming. Am I supposed to be ploughing between them as well then? Oh, maybe I should, you know. 
That's another job I wasn't anticipating doing. That requires 10 horsepower, that requires 65. 1.2 meters, 1.5 meters. We'll go for the 1.5 disc ovine. Let's lease that. I'll have to grab one and give it a go. Because it is showing on the map. Again, I'll show you. Yeah, showing that it needs ploughing. So I guess I should, shouldn't I? Let's see what happens. This is going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Let's put cruise control on. Well, as you fair, I'm finding this a little bit easier than I thought it was going to. Excellent. So our pruning is happening. Well, we've done some ploughing. We've done a lot of the ploughing and pruning. The spraying and stuff, that's all additional. The same as the, uh, the well, I suppose the ploughing in between here as well. That is still part, of, technically, of the ploughing. So ploughing, pruning. I'm, uh, I need to get the mowing done as well on those two new plots, then plough all that out. I was hoping to get some seeding done this episode, but I don't think I'm going to get that done. Uh, liming, I might do, uh, say, off camera. I'm going to get the one of the tractors out with lime and we'll get the fields, both the two new plots that need liming, I'll get them limed. And then, I mean, maybe next episode then. I think I might get some ethanol on the go on the next episode. And also, what I'll do is I'll, we'll get our seeding and planting done. So I'll get corn in that double field. And then we're going to do sorghum in the mega field. We're going to do a massive, massive, massive amount of sorghum. Quite a little wrongly. Doesn't matter, it's a crop, isn't it? We'll just get it in the ground and get it going. I've got another load of potatoes. So we've got two pallets each of our potato points over here as well. So, um... Brilliant. Other than sort of testing and practicing and stuff, this is my first time pruning. So I did it on Fells Prune. No, that was when I was doing the, the testing of it all, wasn't it? Not Fells Prune, what am I talking about? Herbelleron. Uh, yeah, so. First time for everything. Take a while. <laughs> well, I suppose then, like the other jobs, I suppose what I can do is to, if I do every third and then come back again, I'm following a more sedate turning circle I'm not trying to force it and I've got to keep reversing back to line up so I think it's better on the left turn than it is on the right and then I'll just yeah, get it all done brilliant stuff well, at least I'm getting another job sorted so what made me think about the ploughing on here I know it was on red and I thought oh it doesn't matter too much but if I want to get maximum yield I guess it should really shouldn't I and then we'll let them go again I've been looking as well with the, uh, the new Jacto pack that came out. I've got my fertiliser spreader and I've got my lime spreader. I was thinking that Jacto one, uh, what was it called? Mine's got blank. Uh, goes spreads to 50 metres. Does 12 metres for lime. And I think that's a big difference. I'm pretty sure the spreader I've got does the same on both at the moment. I was thinking maybe buying one of those, it's quite expensive, to be fair. The one I've got does the job no problem at all. I just don't know whether it's worth spending out a load more. Well, it'd be nice to have a different bit of equipment. And I might do, I might go from the Jacto fertiliser and lime spreaders. It's just an idea, right? Let's see now. We just turn. I can do every other one that turn, but going the other way for some reason, it didn't. Okay. Right then, I'll see you uh, later on. When all this is done, well, hopefully all this is done. It's such a pity you can't hire a worker to do this. <laughs> Especially if you're doing, imagine if you're doing a map where, you know, you're just doing vineyards. It, that's a lot of time, isn't it? Well, that's the pruning done. 
that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to but it is all done while I was doing that I had workers doing the liming of our two new ploughed plots so we go onto our map and have a look you will see that that section I haven't done that bit yet obviously um, and the top section there plot 14 have um, have been limed but I realized why that had its second fertilizing state this one I mowed it and then plowed it out so in plowing it I got the uh, the first fertilizing state then I put a second down this one had been mowed so I got the first fertilizing state but then the grass grew back a little bit over the last couple of days it had grown back so when I plowed it I actually got um, the second fertilizing stage for the fact there was grass on it so I was plowing a crop in that one I didn't because the grass hadn't started to regrow again so that explains why that had a double and that didn't but anyway so I've still got that whole section to do what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the spraying in the time it's taken me to do that I've probably got some more spray that I can go and collect if I need to then it'll be the mowing of that new section the plowing of it I think what I might do as well before the end of the episode because obviously I've got a lot of work to do um, off camera oh we've got a pallet of big food here as well so um, the pallets of these that we've got going premium potatoes and french fries here uh, we have got our pig food too which we're also producing when we do the bags from here as well so we're kind of I say doubling up we get far more pig food from that one than we are from this one but um, nice to see we've got another pallet there so brilliant let's grab this sprayer I'm in, I'm, I'm in two minds about the ploughing I know I've kind of bounced backwards and forwards trying to make up a decision and I know I leased one but I'm now thinking my concern is because the, there's grass in between when you place these down you get these grass sections that you have to mulch if I now plough this and then even cultivate with a really small cultivator to get rid of that it requires ploughing thing the grass won't grow back so then there'll be nothing to mulch I'm, well, it, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit puzzled now actually what I need to check is on here let's get rid of that has that done anything at all now I don't know whether to run it down the middle of two you know what I'm going to do let's run it down the middle of sorry, two of three and see how far it sprays out when I did this on the map where when I was doing coffee because the coffee got oh, brilliant now, because the coffee was uh, sort of full grown trees it's like the spray didn't want to go between I mean this is this will just been test again I haven't really done a lot of this so if I go down between two will the spray spread far enough it looks like it's got a good spread but I don't think no it's not going beyond that section and now it's not going beyond it's only going to do one strip isn't it okay well I'll carry on up this one we'll do one strip at a time I'll get it done yeah I'll have to do the other one and then we'll have to spray again anyway um, because that was only going to give us one fertilizer state and we're going to definitely need two unless of course like I say if I do plow in if I'm ploughing this grass in, then that would give me another fertilising state. Then it doesn't really help with... I'm puzzled by that one. I suppose it's a little bit like grass, isn't it? I mean, it is grass. I mean, that's obvious. But um, when your grass fields, after you've sown grass, you don't want to plough them up and reseed your grass again. You just leave the grass to keep growing. So I guess after a while, you just have to take a bit of a hit on the fact that they, they will say they need ploughing. I'll do every other one again here. Yeah, so as what I was going to say was, um, what's that spraying? Oh, yeah, it's obviously just like, this haze hasn't really left all day, look. What is spraying now? It's just because the way the light is, I couldn't really see. Is the ground going dark behind me? It is, that's all right. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, when I'm when I'm mowing the new double section, before I then plough it out, I'll get the cedar out, and I'll start putting the sorghum in the bigger section of the eight-pack, or the, I'll do the six-pack first. So if I go up and down, 
I can be putting my um, sorghum in while I'm mowing and ploughing the new section, then by the time it gets all the way over to that side, hopefully I'll be ready to go and we can just carry on the seeding straight across. I mean, to be fair, I've still got to fertilise it, lime it, so there's quite a bit I've got to do on that section, but at least I can get the seeding going. So what I was saying about doing the seeding tomorrow, or later on, well, no, tomorrow probably, I want to try and get some at least started. This isn't getting through anywhere near as much spray as I thought it would, which is pretty cool. Spin around. Ooh, went a bit faster than I thought it was going. That's very cool though. I like that. Now, I know people are going to comment and they're going to message and say that there are more efficient ways of doing it and there are easy ways of doing it and there will be fertiliser spreaders. I mean, I think the other fertiliser spreader I have got, not the sprayer, the spreader, is narrow enough to fit down between these vines. So there is the potential that I could just run that down the middle and broadcast solid fertiliser. And because that's broadcasting at 42 metres, I could probably do this in a couple of runs. But that's just not cricket. This is how it's supposed to be done. This is how I'll do it. At least until I run out of uh, <laughs> liquid fertiliser, I mean. Which I don't think I will. I was thinking oh, I'm going to have to fill it up. I'm going to have to probably have to fill it up a couple of times. But it seems to be working quite efficiently, so maybe I won't. So, again, as you can imagine, I've got work to do. Uh, while I'm doing this, um, uh, the time I've recorded this, I've done it in different stints because of how warm it's been. And I was talking about that earlier. And I said this will probably post on Monday. I'm hoping it will. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it finished because I've got all that, uh, that work I've got to do off camera. That's what I'm saying about maybe getting the seeding done once this is done, start on the seeding, then I can get on the other work off camera. At least that way I've kind of rounded off a few jobs so I will have, I will have done the ploughing, created two new fields. The mega field is three quarters of the way done. And I also have got some seeding started. So I think I might do that. And I also need to sort those potatoes out. I'm getting to that point where there's a lot of jobs. And whereas normally I would hire a worker, jobs like this I can't. So the jobs that a worker can do have been done. The other bits I've got to do myself. So fortunately, that's what becomes time consuming because I can't uh, can't double up on the chops, can I? Never mind. It's 17 minutes past four and I'm using the full fleet of vehicles. I've got most of the stuff over there at the grass bit, which I haven't started yet. Um, most of the spraying is done. I haven't quite finished the spraying of the grapevines, um, but I'm also conscious that we're in September, it's four o'clock. We are going to start losing light at some point. So I'm just going to top up my seed. I'm thinking, actually, because we've got a massive field too, I know I didn't really leave myself enough room for turning here, did I? So I'm driving over my crop. And um, I do have a front tank, don't I? We have got a three point on this. I'm wondering whether or not to grab that and fill up as well because we're, I think we're going to use way more than 5,800 litres especially I need to do the cornfield as well so I think that might not be a bad idea we'll grab that um, so <laughs> I know each part of this video is going to seem quite peculiar um, this has been recorded in three stages I started Saturday then Sunday with every intention of finishing it Sunday and posting it Monday it got so hot under the stairs in my uh, Harry Potter cave. Um, I, just, I had to stop. Is that lowered? Hmm, that's weird. So I'm there attaching. I'm not sure about that. That's been hit before, isn't it? Okay, well, I'll top out as well. Then. That's the problem with having a a third party three point link on the front there. yeah so my intention was yeah to record it finish recording edit it and then post today which is Monday so what I've ended up doing is got most of it done and now I'm in a position where let's see we've still got a fair bit of it. cover that cover the rest 
but I'm just doing this last bit of recording then I'll edit, then I'll post and then I'm done for Monday um, I, my, I was helping Mr Silly P this morning uh, with my mother-in-law's house um, we had to have a guy come over, we had to have an energy thing done and the guy was coming to service the boiler and she lives a little way away so I drove Mr Silly P over and bear in mind it's going to be really hot <laughs> We drove over and it was about 20, 24, 25 degrees at 8 a.m. We got there and we waited and waited. We had a slot between 9 and 1. And then about 10-ish, we, we got a text saying that due to the illness and due to the hot weather, um, they would not be attending any plumbing calls today. Uh, so the guy coming to service the boiler wasn't coming. <laughs> So we drove home, we got in the car at 10 o'clock and it was 27 degrees. By the time we got back, the temperature is creeping up. It was supposed to be at 40, it's now saying maybe 37, 38. I mean, that's still... Uh, and even with fans going everywhere, farm dogs suffering, really, you know. He had his groom the other week and he really needed it because he'd, he'd, we'd gone past the groom that he needed and we had to go away for a couple of days again to do some stuff and he missed his groom. So he was really, you know, looks like a polar bear. <laughs> so he had his groom, great, but he, um, it's just too hot for him. Bless him, he keeps wanting to go out in the garden, he, run, he runs out and then stops, and you can see him thinking, nah, I'm going to go back in now. And he's just sitting by a fan as well, so all good. So yeah, um, I, I, yeah, apologies, I had every intention of trying to get it all done and up. Oh, 8,000 litres, we're going to sorghum this whole lot and we're going to strip across this way and then I'm going to strip up and leave a gap so I can plough the next bit I'll do a strip across the top and then I'm going to set the worker off once I set the worker off to do this one, the 8 pack uh, then I'm going to start mowing the other section and then like I said, that's going to need mowing it's going to need ploughing, it's going to need fertilising, it's going to need liming so that's going to take a bit of time but the mega field is underway. Oh, I've got to roll this as well, haven't I? Ah, oh, just remembered that. Yuck. <laughs> oh, well. This is going to take it. <laughs> uh, I think what I'll have to do is, um, when I've done the mowing and finished the episode, I'll edit it and any bits off camera I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to sit. Hire workers and sit the fan blowing them with it. That's the best bet. We will get it done. Uh, so yeah, there's this, then there's the corn in the, well, the additional plot. What do I need to do next? I'm trying to think, all the potatoes need to be moved into storage because I've got more being produced all the time. Oh, trees. That's going to be the next one. Trees, we're going to do a load of trees. Probably I'm going to do all around the outside of the farm. So as they grow, it kind of gives a a barrier kind of a, around the farm. Kind of like a fence, but in trees. When they're smaller, it'll probably look a bit better. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I, might, I don't know if to do a patch elsewhere. I might do on some of the other plots we've got. Hmm. <laughs> this is going a lot slower. Than I kind of assumed it would. So yeah, when I say I've got all the fleet out, um, over there, I've added to that now because I've got the tractor with the first side spreader, I've got the tractor with the lime spreader. I'm still seriously talking. Mm. What do I do? I think I've got over 1.2 million litres of silage now because that's still producing, it's still all piling up, that's all in storage. I've got my 620,000 litres of methane at my methane storage facility, which is just over there. I'd have to bring some more silage over and produce some more. I think I will do when I need some more money. When I get to that point, OK, I need to buy something new or I will buy a new pot of land or if I drop below my million mark, you know, when I'm on, when I'm running low on fat, I get down to a million. Uh, then I'll probably sell some more methane. I'll carry on doing my gold every day. The lime, if I build up a lot of it, if I kind of get to like a million litres of lime, I'll probably do a couple of runs and sell a load of lime. So what I'm going to do is stop short here and then what I'll do is, when I've done all of that and plough it, I can plough right across this edge and I won't be ploughing over crop I've already put in and then I'll just seed the uh, 
the gap between. I think that's probably the best way of going about it. So what I'll do is get this up the top done and one across the, up to the top and then one across the top. And then uh, I'll set a worker off on this. And then while that's doing that, I'll mow that. Then collect it. That will all go over. Yeah, then all the other jobs. I have to say, even compared to Stone Valley, I think this one has been, for me, the more time-consuming of any of them I think I've done. All the work in between is taking a long time. I ha if you think, really, well, I started off doing logging with the pick-up and a chainsaw. And how far we come from that? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to try out at some point. You know that, um, that by... Um, What's it called? By train, the by train logging trailer, and I said on the mod review about maybe putting two or three of those together, so making my logging trailer even longer than the one I've got now. I might try that, but that's going to require doing a fair bit of logging as well. So once I've got all of these jobs done off camera, and this is all good to go, uh, if I've got any spare time, <laughs> what's that? What spare time? Um, then I'll uh, I'll do some logging because I bought that plot, didn't I? I bought plot was it 49? Haven't been over to it since I bought it. Yeah, plot 49. Haven't been over there. We are really... Uh, I don't know whether or not I want to set a target. The thing is, all this down here is mostly forestry. To set myself a target of buying all the land, most of the land. I mean, some of these have got quite a bit of land on them. Not as many trees. So I could do. We'll see. Hard worker, just get a nice straight line. The worker's off and running. I did two strips in the end, two strips bottom, two strips top, strip either side. So what it should do is when it gets to the end, it's going to turn and it's going to gradually work its way that way. So that when I get over to that side, and if I run out of seed, I'm closer, and also then I'll be able to do the corn. Hopefully by the time both of those are done, I'll have this prepped, and I can just carry on. <laughs> Hopefully. I just suddenly thought, I didn't ch it wasn't sorghum, wasn't it? Yeah. If it's not, then I've, <laughs> then I've got a different crop in the ground. So yeah, everything's over here. <laughs> We're good to go. What I need is, where do I put the mower? There it is. Hidden behind there. This is... This is seeing a bit of action now. How many hours are we up to this? 4.2 hours of mowing. I think we'll... Because I think we own this plot below, don't we? So I can cut a little bit more of the grass. But I'll cut it to start off with just so I can plough. So I'll start from here, work my way across. It's going to be a nice bit of grass. I think each plot, roughly, I was getting... all well, these are slightly smaller on the end. What was I getting? 450 odd thousand, something like that? 400,000? I'm trying to think how much grass I've been getting roughly from the meadow grass. I'll get all that picked up. And now I've got all the rest of the work to do. So yeah, we've got, <laughs> got a bit to get done. I'm just going to spend some time melting into a small puddle next to my PlayStation. And hopefully it doesn't overheat. To be fair, I know a few people message, I know on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro when I had those. If you remember back, if you've been a subscriber of the channel for some time, been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that we had that period where certain games caused the PlayStation to sound like a jet engine taking off. And that got worse when the temperature was hot as well. PS5, I have had zero issues. I've had no fan noise, I've had absolutely nothing. Now I know, obviously, for some people that that's still, you know, I'm not in any way trying to show off or because I, I, I totally understand that getting hold of a PlayStation 5 at the moment it, it's almost impossible you know and if you can find them the prices are ludicrous I mean ridiculously expensive um, I got lucky I, I really really did just knowing someone that had one you know that's all it turned out to be in the end for me because if I'd have tried to get one which I was intended to do, just try and buy one like everyone else. I never would really have got older one. But yeah, that being said, I've had no issues, no problems at all, no fan noise, nothing at all. So it's all good. Um, I am going to stop here. 
like I say, temperature is climbing with the fan off. It's getting warm. So I've done what I set out to do for this episode. Pruning and plow. We've done a bit of that. We've opened up plot 14. We've opened up, well, the six pack to an eight pack. We've got the spraying done, or mostly the spraying done for our grapevines. And now we have done, well, I've also done the liming off camera and a bit of fertilizing. So what we'll do now, get the CD in, get this grass done. Next time I see you, it may not be till Wednesday now. I'm, I'm just very conscious it's going to be very, very hot again tomorrow. So if I get some done enough that I can edit a video together, I will. If not, I'll probably see you Wednesday. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.